So what was your pregame song, the one go-to song that would just get you hyped before a game? It'd probably be uh, Eminem, Lose Yourself from 8 Mile. I mean, if you can't get hyped for that, you know, <laughs> I, was ready run, I, I was ready to run through a wall listening to that. Still am. Tim stole my answer, so I really don't know what to say now. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I kid you not, everyone, everyone, everyone who I've ever played with. Will, will acknowledge that that was what I would listen to before a game. I was the biggest Eminem fan when I was younger. Um, but now it would probably be like probably Kendrick Lamar, all right? Um, that would probably be the song that probably hypes me up before a game. I did have walk-up songs, uh, but I remember Puff Daddy being one of them. 90s R&B. That, I had that list of songs calm me down. So 90s R&B, that was anything 90s R&B, that's what I listened to. Yeah, Daniel, you're think, definitely giving me Jodeci vibes. <laughs> hey, hey, D, I think, D, did you introduce me to DJ Screw? Or you know like that? it. So that's my guy. That's my yes, guy. Yes, sir, <laughs> DJ Screw. <laughs> oh, we need the DJ Screw story. Come on, you can't bring that up, Tim, without telling us how, what happened. Well, I'm just a kid from Jersey and, you know, listening to hip-hop around that time. New York was blowing up, and here comes my guy from Dallas talking all this noise about how they do it down there and he put it on DJ Screw. And I mean, that's my guy. I was just, everybody, like everybody else, I was scared of D. So I just listened to the music. I was like, whatever, we'll listen to whatever he listens to. <laughs> and uh, he put me on to it. It was cool. But we played for the same team, which is amazing. I liked slower songs, to, like feel inspired. And I think that would motivate me. It's, so I'm, I'm, I'm picking up on a little what John Mayer on the, Hunter, of the game. Oh, you know, that's so funny. You read my mind. I actually, this is so, ra <laughs> this is so random. But one time I somehow got a John Mayer song on like our stadium playlist. And later in my career it was uh, classical music because I want to calm myself down and chill and get in the zone. So Before a game, I never listened to music. And I'll tell you why. Because for me, as a goalkeeper, I mean, music pumps me up. And it gets, you know, when I work out, that's, I love listening to music. But when I played, I felt like it almost got me too amped up and as a goalkeeper and you know tim can kind of attest to this a little bit too you want to be in kind of a nice little zone right where you react and you're not flying out for crosses at 16 yard line you know because you're pumped up because you've been you know jamming to like uh, kick start my heart or something like that so for me it just i mean <laughs> For me, it was like you're probably oh, gonna have to tell gotta... anybody what that song is. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I know, know, I know that song. Not many people. I, I told you I was gonna throw you a curveball, and at least somebody picked up on it. Thank you, Tim. Yeah.